My name is William Damrio and I am the Associate Product Manager for Zygos Laser Interferometer product lines called the Verifiers. Uh, today we're here to talk about uh, various measurement techniques that we use in modern precision optics and mechanics to uh, measure a wide variety of parts using laser interferometers. Today I'm sitting in front of the Verifier A Sphere Plus, aka the BFA Plus. This is a novel instrument signed by Zygo to use a novel technique of on-axis A-sphere measurement to measure a wide variety of parts. There are limitations though to this technique, and in that case, we often will opt for computer-generated holograms. CG agents or computer-generated holograms use optical diffraction to create a, what we call a null wave front, which matches the precise shape of a part as designed, and using the interferometers that we have been making for years, we're able to create, to take a very high fidelity, high accuracy measurement of basically any surface that you can want to design. Historically, CGHs, while very useful for their intended subject, are quite difficult to align. That's because the diffraction-based mechanics that isn't being leveraged by the optics is a very specific uh, setup, meaning that the null wavefront as it is designed only appears in one very specific location in space. So all axes of alignment are critical in measurements with CGHs. Contrary to that, the VFA Plus uses an on-axis zoned measurement system that enables a single part to be imaged throughout the entirety of its surface with a single spherical reference. So that enables us to go back and forth between CGH measurements and our BFA measurements to compare and contrast the relative strengths and weaknesses of two mechanisms. And in turn, it allows us to create higher throughput measurement devices. The VFA Plus uses predictive interferometric modeling to predict what the interferometer will see based off of the design of the given part. So to may take a measurement with the VFA Plus, one of the big caveats is always that we need to know the design of the surface. That's also the same though for CGHs. One of the big issues with CGHs, however, is that for every CGH design, it only matches with a single part and it can only measure at a single wavelength. The VFA Plus can measure a wide variety of surfaces so long as it is within the capture range of the system. One of the big advantages that we have with this very cross-functional platform is that it allows us to do some validation testing between CGHs and the VFA Plus measurements. Uh, this in turn gives us a much higher level of confidence in the measurements that we're making since we can cross-validate them between the two methods. The VFA Plus can be used to measure a wide variety of excellent symmetric A spheres. This is critical because the VFA uses on-axis tracking to be able to stitch together multiple zones to be able to get our final full aperture image of our A-sphere surface. One of the main advantages of the VFA Plus is that we have incorporated a fully automated part stage into the measurement tool. This enables CGH users to automatically auto-null and auto-align their parts to the optical axis of the system to create a much more reliable and repeatable measurement. Uh, this also makes the entire process of measuring the VFA substantially more straightforward and it requires a lot less training to execute it. This increase in throughput and decrease in time taken for each individual measurement is also a great boon to any kind of manufacturing scenario where throughput is key. 